Okay, well hello, this is my fourth vlog and I've had Winston for about a month now. I'm so in love with Winston. Um, but what I wanted to tell you is a little bit more about Winston, what he is and what he is not. What he is not, and I want everybody to understand this, is that Winston is not a motorized horse. He doesn't have a motor in him and you're not going to feel four feet going up and down. That's not what he's designed to do. That it would be a um, synthesizer. And Winston is an equisizer. He has springs underneath here. He has a neck connected inside here so that you have a neck, a very realistic neck motion. There's all kinds of cool things that um, equisizers have been used for in movies with horses. Um, but he doesn't move, his body doesn't move unless you move him, which is why I'm so excited about Winston because Winston is helping me build my core strength and my fitness and to have perfect practice. So for those of you who are trainers or instructors or people who are riding, um, this is a great opportunity for you to use the equisizer to practice perfectly and do rider assessments. Uh, another great thing is if you could put them in front of a mirror, then you would be able to see. If not, then you could have a spotter to help you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount up on Winston and show you a few of those stretches and exercises that I do and a little bit about how he moves. So traditionally with any other, um, just like a real horse, you're gonna grab me, mount on the left side. She's the right. Pommel. Grab the stirrups. And what I like to do first is I like to make sure that my core is stacked correctly. And what I mean by that is that my pelvis and my chest, this part of my core is stacked on top of each other. And if that's correct, and I'm sitting correctly, then I should have the correct heel, hip, and ear alignment. And if I do, this stack is gonna be correct. All right, and then what I do is I tie up my reins just for a second. What's nice about Winston, he's not going to take off on me. And I do my stretches just like I would do if I were riding Bell, a real horse, but I get to do them on Winston first. And stretch, stretch tall, one arm stretch to lengthen, lengthen, stretch out to the side. And this is a good way to tell if you have symmetry on both sides. I know I'm stiffer to the left, and I'm looser to the right, something I'm working on. And then check your alignment again. If you need to, hold on, and sink down correctly. And then I gather up my reins, and when I hold my reins, I hold them just as if, you know, I'm riding, with correct contact. So. Winston will not move unless you move him correctly with your body. So you have to use your core, engage, and move him. Then remembering that you're following the motion, if you pull on Winston's head, that's what happens. And that's the same thing would happen with your horse. You're sending conflicting messages. So I practice following motion sitting with my core correctly, and then drop my stirrups, lengthen my leg, stop my horse, I can even stretch up, can't do this on a real horse unless somebody's holding it for you or really trust them. Pull my legs out to the side and out and back. This will open up the hips. Make sure I'm good and long. And then pick up my gait. A nice rhythmic walk. Following hands. I'll have more with Winston on my next post. Thanks for visiting.